Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Ziva Zero eVTOL completes first powered test, vague FAA statement reveals nothing, San Jose undeterred ends delivery of 100 LL. Hi, I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. Let's get into today's stories. Ziva Zero eVTOL completes first powered test. Ziva has completed the first untethered flight test for its Zero Flying Wing airframe, where the aircraft took off and flew under its eight electric propellers. With the first flight completed, the Zero now boasts the bragging rights of being a functional, real aircraft with flight time in its logbook in an industry rife with ground demonstrators and digital renders. The flight is an important milestone in the airworthiness certification process, proving the unmanned demonstrator could take off and maintain position in a controlled hover, as well as taxi, climb, and maneuver at low altitude. The pancake-ish single pilot aircraft is an unusual addition to the eVTOL race, supporting a prone pilot position that takes off and lands on its tail. Ziva hopes that sleek design opens doors for the Zero among high-flying corporate businesses looking for single-occupant runabout to fly right to the side of their skyscraper. Quote, this is a huge inflection point for Ziva as we join an exclusive set of proven flying eVTOL platforms and a testament to the relentless hard work and ingenuity of our entire team over the past two and a half years, end quote, said Stephen Tibbetts, CEO and chairman of Ziva. After the break, salute to excellence awarded to MD Helicopters. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we are going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. HII Salute to Excellence awarded to MD Helicopters. The Helicopter Association International has announced the 2022 recipient of its Salute to Excellence Humanitarian Service Award. Every year it honors those who best demonstrate the value of helicopters to the world by providing assistance to those in need. It will be presented on March 7th, at the Association's Hella Expo 2022 in Dallas, Texas. Boise Alternate, Caldwell Airport, changing name. Caldwell, Idaho will change the name of its local Caldwell Industrial Airport to Treasure Valley Executive Airport. The move comes after the Caldwell City Council unanimously voted in December in favor of the name change, hoping to revamp the image of the field into a more appropriate, upscale posture to further entice development. Locals remember the original intention behind the former name, being called an industrial airport as the city's expansion saw the addition of numerous hangars, aircraft operations, and businesses. But ultimately, that vision has passed. Mastin expands operations, doubling pace. Mastin Mission 2 is now in the works as the company announces the start of an ambitious lunar program aimed at reaching the lunar south pole with their Zaline lander. The Hayworth Crater is hoped to be the landing site for government and commercial payloads as it assesses surface composition, volatility, and radiation ahead of planned human missions expected to take place under the Artemis program. Mastin aims to offer lunar delivery missions to all near and far side of the moon locales from craters to planes, poles to the equator. Tupolev 2-160M takes flight. The Tupolev strategic missile carrier, version of its supersonic, variable wing 2160, has taken flight from the Kazan Aviation Plant for initial checks of its stability and control systems. 
The flight is a landmark for the resurrected aircraft following work on bringing a modernized, updated variant back into production. The Tupolev has been the focus of efforts to create a modernized, updated aircraft of the 40-year-old design. United Aircraft Corporation CEO Yuri Slusar said the project was essentially the manufacture of a brand new 2160 from the ground up. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Vague FAA statement reveals nothing. Some in the collective aerospace community have expressed a measure of annoyance at the recent non-statement issued by the FAA in regards to a ground stop issued January 10th. The halt saw departures from West Coast airports paused for around 15 minutes. The FAA Twitter account posted, quote, As a matter of precaution, the FAA temporarily paused departures at some airports along the West Coast on Monday night. Full operations resumed in less than 15 minutes. The FAA regularly takes precautionary measures. We are reviewing the process around this ground stop as we do after all such events, end quote. Aviation nerds the world over have spent the week in a whodunit, piecing together clips of ATC recordings, aircraft movements, and directions. Speculation initially pointed to a North Korean missile test, but the grounding was not accompanied by warnings from NORAD. Some aircraft in the air were ordered to land as soon as possible, and some ATC personnel posted images of the slips ordering a halt. Additional sleuthing, however, has increasingly aligned the timing with the North Korean launch. More information has been released by countries closer to the region, and the timeline matches up enough that it seems the grounding order was caused by an overabundance of caution. After these messages, San Jose Undeterred ends delivery of 100 LL. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. San Jose, undeterred, ends delivery of 100 LL. Despite the warnings, the cajoling, and the requests from a range of stakeholders, the County of Santa Clara, California has gone ahead with its plans to end the sale of leaded fuels in their county, particularly 100 LL at Reed Hillview and San Martin airports. The move is said by the Board of Supervisors to be solely aimed at eliminating airborne contaminants following studies that allegedly showed elevated levels of lead attributable to aircraft activity at Reed Hillview Airport and children living nearby. The San Jose area authorities have come a bit closer to their ultimate goal of taking land occupied by local airports, finally enjoying a measure of success after years of high-profile disputes over their continued operation. Think of the children as often a sardonically invoked argument, but it's key to the county's flawed but purposeful study. Local operators and flight schools will use up the remaining fuel on site and replace the 100 LL with Swift Fuels 94 Ultra Low Lead going forward. The change will require an approved STC for aircraft prior to use, and the county has offered zero overtures to assist owners in obtaining the necessary compliance. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.